We're going to start with the serenity prayer, and then we'll go into the daily reflections. If you or someone you know are questioning yourselves about whether or not you're an alcoholic or whether they are an alcoholic or drug addict, reach out. We can help you. You don't have to do it alone. God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Grant me patience with the struggles that take time, and appreciation for all that I have, tolerance of those with different struggles, and the strength to get up and try again, one day at a time. November 26th, the hazards of publicity. People who symbolize causes and ideas fill a deep human need. We of Alcoholics Anonymous do not question that. But we do have to soberly face the fact that being in the public eye is hazardous, especially for us. 12 Steps and 12 Traditions, page 181. As a recovered alcoholic, I must make an effort to put into practice the principles of the Alcoholics Anonymous program, which are founded on honesty, truth, and humility. When I was drinking, I was constantly trying to be in the limelight. Now that I am conscious of my mistakes and of my former lack of integrity, it would not be honest to seek prestige, even for the justifiable purpose of promoting the AA message of recovery. Is the publicity that centers around the AA fellowship and the miracles it produces not worth much more? Why not let the people around us appreciate by themselves the changes that AA has brought in us? For that will be a far better recommendation for the fellowship than any I could make. We are not a capture and brainwash operation in Alcoholics Anonymous. We voluntarily help others who still suffer to be useful and to stay sober ourselves. We say to the newcomer, if you want what we have, we have found a solution to our problem. Then you will do what we do, and most likely you will get it too. We do not claim a monopoly on recovery from alcoholism. We know we have a solution that works for us. We have a daily reprieve contingent on the maintenance of our spiritual condition. The proof is in the pudding, as they say. If it didn't work for millions of us, we wouldn't continue. We get to pass it on to others, which brings us joy and satisfaction, not only in the successes, but also in our attempts. It gets us out of ourselves. We focus lovingly on trying to help others. Leading by example is our method. We do not preach about it. We live it, and others see the change in us, and they approach us, questioning how we look so much better. A great responsibility fell upon us to develop the best possible public relations policy for Alcoholics Anonymous. Through many painful experiences, we think we have arrived at what the policy ought to be. It is the opposite in many ways of usual promotional practice. We found that we had to rely upon the principle of attraction rather than promotion. Step 11. Our public relations policy is based on attraction rather than promotion. We need always maintain personal anonymity at the level of press, radio, and films. It is more than a denial of self-seeking. This tradition is a constant and practical reminder that personal ambition has no place in AA. In it, each member becomes an active guardian of our fellowship. We have found humility and sobriety by working the steps thoroughly. We leave nothing out. By meticulously uncovering all that we had intended to suppress, we give it up to our higher power, and we are relieved of those defects and place them in his care. We know in our hearts and minds that all is the way it is supposed to be. Our mindset of surrendering is winning provides strength to be present and participate in life. November 26th, the hazards of publicity. People who symbolize causes and ideas fill a deep human need. We of Alcoholics Anonymous do not question that. But we do have to soberly face the fact that being in the public eye is hazardous, especially for us. 12 Steps and 12 Traditions, page 181. As a recovered alcoholic, I must make an effort to put into practice the principles of the Alcoholics Anonymous program, which are founded on honesty, truth, and humility. When I was drinking, I was constantly trying to be in the limelight. Now that I am conscious of my mistakes and of my former lack of integrity, it would not be honest to seek prestige, even for the justifiable purpose of promoting the AA message of recovery. Is the publicity that centers around the AA fellowship and the miracles it produces not worth much more? 
Why not let the people around us appreciate by themselves the changes that AA has brought in us? For that will be a far better recommendation for the fellowship than any I could make. Carpe the diem, boys and girls. Please subscribe for more videos. Thank you for watching.